and last but not least another high duty technique nevertheless here we're gonna go we're gonna discuss about high duty confusion okay high hdc the main difference to hdt the previously mentioned is that now the transmitting the transmitted train is synchronized to the echo okay uh, this means masking or hiding our own echo with identical pulses identical pulse repetition intervals therefore the host radar will intercept several will receive several pulses with identical parameters degradating the identification to the real uh, one okay um, HDC could be implemented as a standard for one pulse masked or engaged uh, for several pulse mask target for this technique same as HDT lock on conical scan radars and our ARP radars so now let's do a quick summary of all mentioned techniques okay remember noise jamming for saturating whole hostile radars is jam v jam then noise deception for covering our own icon with noise uh, ncpy and narrow band here next next slides uh, range and angle techniques rgpo and rgpe we transmit high power and changing pulse separation for range misreadings and AGPOE, AGPOE, -E <laughs> modifying information causing misreading of the angle of arrival for at the hostile level. Okay. Then, if we want, if what we want is jamming velocity data, we have VGPO and VGPE are our friends. <laughs> These are our the techniques that we should use. So um, here we generate identical echo plus Doppler shift. And finally, uh, for hiding our echo into identical and several pulses using HDT and HDC, this is convenient, causing false alarms. Narrow and wideband, one or several pulses can be masked. Options are available. So please do consider leaving me a comment or email if a more specific course related to these techniques is really attractive to you.